social dilemma looms for Victoria Beckham over whether to invite feuding Cambridges and Sussexes to Sun Brooklyn's wedding after she and husband David attended both their nuptials. Victoria Beckham could be fast approaching a social dilemma over whether to invite the feuding Cambridges and Sussexes to her son Brooklyn's wedding after she and husband David attended both their royal nuptials. The fashion designer, 46, is thought to be close friends with Meghan Markle, 39. Following the royal's permanent move to the U.S. earlier this year and the Duchess of Sussex is often captured sporting Victoria's designs. But Meghan and Harry, 36, aren't the only royal couple that the former Spice Girls boasts a friendship with, since she also attended the wedding of Prince William and Kate Middleton, 38, in 2011. However, when it comes to creating the guest list for her son Brooklyn's 2022 wedding to American actress and heiress Nicola Peltz, there could be concerns over asking both duos to attend, considering recent reports of a rift between William and Harry. Brooklyn, 21, has postponed his wedding to 2022 in the hopes that the pandemic doesn't ruin any plans, with the photographer hoping to throw two events. The couple, who announced their engagement in July, are thought to want celebrations in both Florida and the Cotswolds to cater for both their families. Nicola, 25, is the daughter of U.S. tycoon Nelson Peltz. It's unclear whether invitations or save the dates have been sent to potential guests. Victoria and David were among the guests at Harry and Meghan's star-studded royal wedding in 2018, and also appeared at Kate and William's nuptials in 2011. The Sussexes and the Cambridge's last public engagement together was at the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey in March. They appeared to barely speak to one another during the event, which marked the start of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepping back from royal duties and making the U.S. their permanent home. Since then, there have been reports of a rift between the princes with one royal expert recently suggesting the fractured relationship between them will never be repaired, unless they happened to split from their wives. Ingrid Seward, who is the editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, told the Mirror's Pond Save the Queen podcast that she fears the damage to the brothers' relationship is beyond repair, following the Duke of Sussex's decision to step away from royal life with his wife Meghan. Seward, who's been following the tribulations of the royal family for decades, said she believes that only an awful tragedy would be enough to bring the brothers back to the level of closeness they once shared. She said, I rather doubt that they will ever get back to how they used to be. I really don't think so. I think that's probably a broken relationship. I think perhaps if something happened to Catherine or Meghan, the boys would be together again. But as long as their ladies are there and their families are there, if there was an awful tragedy it would bring them together. But otherwise I don't think that relationship will be mended. But that is a really personal point of view and I might not be right. Meanwhile, Robert Lacey, a distinguished royal historian and advisor to TV's The Crown, has claimed Meghan and Kate regard each other as cool professionals. He told the Daily Mail, Meghan and Kate actually got on rather well from the start. They might not be best buddy material, but they found themselves, sister outsiders in their extraordinary royal situation and both of them cool professionals, treating each other with mutual respect. Each was far too canny to make an enemy of a prospective sister-in-law, it only made sense to be friends. The fundamental conflict was between the two males who had known each other all their lives and had never hesitated to tell each other exactly what they thought and felt. 